Before replacing the external bladders on a Tidlin shaft, ensure that all of the air has been removed from the shaft. Use the Tidland air release tool to accomplish this. Begin by removing the end blocks from both ends of the shaft. Loosen the screws using an M5 Allen wrench. Starting at the valve end of the shaft, pry up the rubber element and polyurethane bladder and remove them from the slot. Cut a new strip of bladder to the proper length, exactly one inch longer than the length of the slot. Now make a hole in one side of the polyurethane bladder on the valve end side by using the Tidland punch and gauge. Ensure that the hole goes through only one side of the bladder. Insert the air fitting into the bladder and place the bladder back into the slot at the valve end, pressing the air fitting into the fitting in the shaft. Insert the rubber element into the slot, ensuring the bladder lays flat underneath the element. Replace the end block on the valve side first, ensuring a tight fit. Then check to make sure that the strip is of the proper length, without stretching on the far side of the shaft. Replace the end block on this side as well. Contact Tidland for more specific information about maintenance for external element shafts.